It was business as usual on Wednesday at the River Valley Supplies and Gas Station in Scotland Half Moon when two robbers pounced on the establishment. The men, dressed in Fort Point security uniforms, stormed into the shop through a back entrance, one with a 9mm firearm in hand. Manager Benjamin Schrock and the patron were assaulted with the firearm before they were robbed of their belongings. Only one person was here. Um, they said eating the lunch and we hang out, a friend of ours, a customer. Um, yeah, the guys came in the back and with their gun, and I made it inside. And they, they first they get me down on the ground, and then they got outside and got the customer and the next worker, bring them in, put them on the ground, and ask for our money and phones. Um, yeah, they carried our phones and money and hauled down the TV screen. The loot, over $1,100 in cash, cell phones, deodorants, and other store items, was stuffed into a knapsack before the two robbers fled through the back door from which they came. The duo made their way into bushes some 400 yards away where they hid from police. The Rural Rapid Response Team was immediately dispatched, and after perusing the surveillance footage at the store, they began combing the area for the men who were believed to be hiding nearby. Our Rural Rapid Response then canvassed the area where one of our officers, who is a, a, an expert in uh, tracking, uh, led the team of officers to an area in the jungle where they accosted the two individuals, one of whom ran into a uh, pasture and was attacked by a cow, and the officers uh, were quick enough to rescue him from that uh, danger and took him out the pasture. In the jungle, the officers recovered all the properties that were stolen from the gas station and the patrons at that gas station, including the firearm and the ammunition. Late into the evening, 22-year-old Trevor McFoy and a minor were captured as they exited a cattle pasture in proximity to the gas station. A black Toyota 4Runner SUV with tax license plates and three alleged conspirators of the crime were intercepted in the process. The investigation showed that these individuals we're going to hide out in the bushes and camp until uh, our investigation was done and we left the area. But the officers were diligent in their pursuit and uncovered information where the getaway vehicle, which is a black forerunner, was supposed to come and pick the two robbers up. So they waited in the jungle as well, and sure enough, the taxi came to pick up the robbers, and he was also apprehended and arrested. All five suspects were detained and taken to the Ladyville Police Station. While one was from the Lord's Bank community in Ladyville, all others were from Belize City. Assistant Commissioner Edward Broster says that it is a trend that they're seeing from recent robbery incidents in that jurisdiction. We had the robbery at Alton Hall, Sarkis Bonera, Scotland Half Moon. So we are asking people to be more vigilant and if they see something, they say something and they might just stop something. Uh, we are also looking to see whether or not they have anything to do with the Alton Hall robbery. Um, and it, it, it is quite apparent that because of the defense dome that we have established within Ladyville proper, they are going out in the uh, rural communities that do not see this type of crime. The gas station has been open at that location for over 15 years, and Shrock says this is the first time that they've been robbed. I, I was, I mean, it's a surprise, first time it ever happened to me, and I was like, at first, you know, I was on the ground, I said, what, is this surreal? <laughs> uh, like, I, I mean, I hear about sometimes people get robbed and hold up on your lay out on the ground and thing, and I was thinking, you know, this is this is me down the ground. <laughs> But I never really as frightened as you might with me think, you know. I'm going to try to pray or leave it and say, help me God enough to be frightened and sing, right? McFoy and the minor have both been charged with three counts of robbery. The three others, Dean Zelaya, Kevin Faber, and Mark August, were initially detained and have since been released. Dwayne Moody for News 5, 